Hi, this is Edith, Instructional Innovation Trainer at Klamath Community College. And in this video, I would like to go over how you share your desktop when you're in a meeting. Uh, be aware that I am not going to be in with anybody right at the moment, but um, I, a lot of the features are still available to me. So if I go into my Meet Now, this through a scheduled meeting too, it's just easier for me to show you when I'm doing a Meet Now. So here is where I have my main screen, and if there was somebody else here, you would see their pictures as well. So what you would do is you would go here and we're going to click on share content and you can share your desktop. And then be aware of your message here. People will be able to see everything on your desktop for the monitor you choose. Now if you have three different monitors, you can actually choose which one you want to do. Um, and that will give you the option when you click on this. So like normally I have three different um, monitors attached to my computer, um, but for my video purposes, I only have the one. So I can't really show this feature, but it'll give you the choice of showing both your screens or all three of your screens or just showing the primary screen, secondary or tertiary. So just so you know that that's there. Now you're going to see up here that I have a stop sharing. It's connecting. It's not going to give anybody any rights. You can also see um, around in the corners here or outlined in yellow. I'm sharing that part of my screen. Um, the other thing that I suggest is you would pin this here. It's just a good reminder to um, yourself that you're sharing your screen so um, you don't accidentally bring something up that shouldn't be shared. Um, I know this is here, but I think that this gives you a little bit more um, awareness that this is there. You can also give control to anybody. So if somebody wants to take over your mouse, they actually can if they're in the meeting, but you can always take back that controls. And you can see that's grayed out. And that's mostly just because, because I have nobody else in here. The other thing you can do, so um, I can actually share a window. So that's the same as sharing a program. So you can see I have a few programs open and perhaps I just want to show them uh, my OneNote. So I can just share that and and again, read your notes. They're very important. I think they're they're definitely something that you need to be aware of. You know, if you feel comfortable turning it off, do, but I never do, just as a reminder, because maybe I'm gonna see something. Um, you know, somebody says I have a problem with Windows overlapping an application and they're gonna and it's black trying rectangles. Then at least I know because I read the um, notice here and just say okay. So now when I'm sharing all they're going to see basically is this. So if I move my OneNote, they're going to actually see all of that um, versus this. And you can see that I don't have any orange yellow outline here. So let me go ahead and minimize that. But you can see here, I do. And you can see also it says now sharing. But And you can see on my other windows that I have that are open um, so I can even open my Outlook. So I can actually look at my Outlook and nobody sees what I'm doing, especially useful for when you have just one screen because you might want to do something or you want to just kind of talk about something but you can get to doing something else. So it doesn't limit you. And then um, I can just click on my stop sharing and you can see that the yellow line went away. And let's go ahead and open this back up. You can see I no longer have that screen share orange yellow line around my screen so I'm no longer sharing. Know that you have those different options you can do just one desktop, one screen, one monitor, one program and that's true in a meet now program and a scheduled meeting. So I think that should cover it if you have any other if you have any other questions, concerns, comments, or feedback, please feel free to contact me at warden at clamacc.edu. My extension is 340 you can find me in the Skype directory, Edis Warden, and I would be glad to IM with you, video conference with you, talk with you audio, or do a share screen. Thank you and have a great day.